A nationwide COVID spike is impacting us. Take a look at this map here. It shows the community spread in each county in Virginia. According to the CDC, at least three local cities are recording high transmission ahead of the weekend. Sarah Hammond tells us why health experts say you shouldn't be surprised when you see more red on the map in the coming weeks. Your thermometer isn't the only thing rising right now in Hampton Roads. COVID-19 cases are also getting higher across eastern Virginia. Right now, Portsmouth, Suffolk, Isle of Wight and Southampton County are all considered areas of high transmission, according to the CDC. If I was walking into a grocery store in those areas, I would be wearing a mask. Any indoor public space where we're all sharing our air, we should probably mask up. Newport News, Hampton, Chesapeake, Virginia Beach and Norfolk are all sitting at medium rates of transmission. The uptick in cases is caused by the BA5 Omicron subvariant, the most contagious yet, according to Dr. Elizabeth Broderick, a pediatrician in Newport News. It's easier to catch it and we're not wearing masks. So we're really giving it a good chance to get at us. Adding the extreme heat into the equation, you may have a hard time discerning if you have the virus or heat related illness because the initial symptoms are so similar. You have a headache and you're sweaty and you're nauseated and you have muscle aches and you're feeling pretty terrible. Is it heat exhaustion or are you coming down with COVID? Broderick says it's only a matter of time before communities in the yellow range turn red. If your neighbor is red, you need to act as if your area is red. Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. Now, if you haven't gotten either of the mRNA vaccine options, Novavax will hit the market in Virginia next month as an alternative vaccine option.